The scenario in this demo consists of branched networks behind our network services gateway. This NSG is connected to our environment in the data center. We've defined a network called High Value App Virtual Network, where we have both a mix of containers and virtual machines. The first step in our workflow is to predict, to visualize, and discover the application flows. Step two is to set policy and fine tune it, followed by detection of a port scan. Based on alerts, you can have the system automatically respond by moving the infected or likely infected web container through a next gen firewall and into suspect group. Now to the demo. I'll log in with Virtualized Services Architect, our user interface for Virtualized Services Platform. Acme Corp is defined as a tenant. I can see its domains here. This one we've defined as High Value App Domain. Let's go into Networks and look at it in more detail. I have a defined zone for the branch subnet and the data center network. We've got four containers in blue and three virtual machines in green. I can select any of them to get more details. If I look at the infrastructure of the branch network, I can see I have one branch device, which is our network services gateway. Going back into networks and policies, I can view the policy groups for the various applications, such as shared or web, The policy group for suspect is currently empty. Click on Security Insights to see a graphical representation of the traffic between these application components in this environment. Let's find the port for traffic between web and app. Here it is, port 8080. This confirms that this is a valid port for that application. I can do the same across the board. Let's look at app to db. Now we know that the port is 3306. Looking at branch to web, we get confirmation that the port is 80. And on shared to app, port 389. I can see that between web and shared, I have traffic that is also flowing on port 389. All of these flows start with a baseline policy. Click on policies to view them. Here I can see there is a baseline policy that is set up between web and app. It's open on any port, because previously I didn't know what the port was. Let's update the policies. I'm going to change web to app. I know that it's on port 8080. That's a valid port, so I'll specify port 8080 here. I'll do the same for app to db, which, from the flow visualization, we know is 3306. I've got some other ones to update as well, but for now I'll apply the changes I've already made. These policies are now being pushed down to the network services gateway, as well as virtual machines and containers. The suspect policy group is still empty at this point because we haven't started the port scan yet. Now I'll set a threshold crossing alert. I'll select a web container and define an alert. I'll name it ACL Deny Alert. We have a variety of metrics to choose from. I'll choose ACL Deny Event Count. Rather than just generating an alert, I also want to move this web container to a different policy group. So I'll add with action to the name for clarification. I'll have it moved, in this case, to suspect group. For this demo, I'll create a condition where it'll trigger right away. I'll say, if the ACL deny count exceeds 100 in a span of 3600 seconds, I want to get an alert. I also want the endpoint to be moved to the suspect policy group. I'm setting this alert at the container level for this demo, but you can also set it at a domain level. Now I'll launch a port scan. This command triggers a port scan to web container 1. Going back to security insights, we expect to see ACL denies now. And we do. The alert is triggered and the endpoint is dynamically moved to the suspect group instead of web. Let's go back into Security Insights and see what has happened. Suspect Policy Group has a container now, and the Web Policy Group is gone. With VSS, you can intuitively see what is happening in your network, enforce policies, simplify micro-segmentation, detect abnormal activity based on the metrics, and then respond. 
For more information, visit nuagenetworks.net slash VSS.